I'm going to be showing you how I animate hair in After Effects. Um, thought I'd make a tutorial because I can't be asked to animate right now. This is a quick voiceover. Uh, I can't explain something and do it at the same time. And I think if I try to explain what I'm doing, I'll just confuse you even more. So I'll probably just leave, you know, a voiceover or two if I feel like it's necessary, but I'll just let the video run through and you should be able to, you should be able to understand what I'm doing. Hopefully if you don't leave a comment, I will get back to it. And yeah, I hope you can understand what I'm doing. I will quickly explain what pins do. Um, it's pretty simple. They act like pins. Um, you select it, put some pins in the image and it will, you know, it will do that. I don't know <laughs> how to, it, it acts like pins. You can move it, you can, uh, you can manipulate the image. So here is where I actually start my process. Um, I begin with putting pins at the top of the hair because I don't want that to move at all. Um, so they're acting as like a sort of anchor, you could say. Then I would place one in the middle and two at the bottom of a strand of hair, like so. Just gonna quickly move them and shit. Uh, then I just repeat this step for each piece of hair that I can see. Now to actually make the pin start moving, uh, move along in the timeline using the blue arrow and then start moving the pins where you want them to be. Now, if you press U on the selected clip, you will see the keyframes that you've just done. Now, instead of repeating this process of moving all the pins, um, you can select the keyframes you've just made and moved and then copy and paste it along in the timeline. If you're down to do that, it's control C, then control V. And you know, that it saves a lot of time, especially if you have a lot of pieces of hair to move. After you have all of your keyframes ready, select all of them, hit F9. And that's gonna make um, it's gonna make the animation between each keyframe a lot smoother. So here you can see it's stiff. It looks it looks really shit. Hit F9, bam, you know, smooth, bouncy, amazing. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, or well, probably do, but it's a simple way to you know, make it look better. Um, this part, I think, takes your hair animation a lot further. All I'm doing is I'm grabbing the keyframes of the two pins at the bottom and moving them along in the timeline whilst leaving the top one, you know, the one in the middle here, alone. And what that does, it makes the top one move before the bottom two and that kind of gives it more of a realistic look. As you can, if you compare it to the other two here, I don't know. I think it looks a lot better. I think you should do it. Um, all the things that I'm doing now are just to make the the keyframes a bit more random, uh, and less uh, formulaic. I don't know if that's a word, but that's what I'm trying to achieve. I don't want it to look stiff or like a um, pattern like at all. I want it to be very random, very 
as if the as if the breeze itself is hitting my laptop and making the hair move that's what i want so um i don't think i should explain it you can just look and see what i'm doing and uh yeah that's basically it um after that you're basically done move on to the next piece you know the next chunk of hair and do the same process all over again yeah that's it simple easy uh leave any questions in the bottom don't like the video i made this in like five minutes um and yeah i hope it helped Um, I forgot to mention, if you want any other tutorials, let me know. Um, I was um, thinking of making one on how I redraw panels. Um, that's a no, very, very uh, important step when animating, because you got to do it. So I can do one on that. I can do one on um, sh fucking anything. I don't know. Just let me know, and I'll try. I'll try to make it. Um, yeah once again i hope it helped uh i'll see you when i you know find the energy to make another video